The city is home to many unemployed youths. Some came to Vendek in search of decent jobs, while others are studying at various institutions of education. While lending a job might be difficult, some make use of their hands to make a few pennies. And this is what Megamino Petrus and her sister Navoya do when they take a break from class. At times, they do not make much from braiding because their clients are mostly fellow students. Money generated goes towards food, tax affairs, and their little sister's upkeep. They operate from the Hura Habra essential area. When Megamino landed a job at a popular Chinatown, she was over the moon. They employed me there. They told me to work for a month. If I could be working nice, then they could employ me for the whole time. By then, from there, the Chinese, they were employing like many people at the time. They chased some of the workers who were employed before, after then. Then the after two, it was when? First day, they only gave me 100 when for, for the salary that I went for. She was paid a meager hundred dollar for two weeks of work, after which her employer allegedly informs her that the contract has ended. Navarre had the same experience and is disappointed. It's useless. It's not making any sense working for two weeks and you are getting 100. You lose more. You lose 200 for tax money. Others who claim to be victim of the practice did not want to speak on camera for fear of being denied jobs in future. They are, however, against the fact that some employers are paying as little as possible because job seekers are desperate. They want protection.